Hello everybody, and welcome back to more Vietnamese Crystal. Um, the reason I've uploaded four episodes of this in a row is because one, it's really addicting, and I really love Pokemon Crystal, and this horrible translation, and two, because uh, it's spring break and I really have nothing better to do, so yeah. Um, in the last episode, we caught a Dunsparce, and uh... I don't know, not much else happened there. We fought our first few trainers, and uh, I now have Funsparce up to level 7. Um, he only learned one move, which was Smokescreen. Um, and from what I understand, he doesn't learn anything else until around level 13. So, yeah. Caught many elves. Uh, that is the truth. This guy has like four Pokemon, and I think three of them are Caterpies, and one is a Weedle. If I actually know that offhand, then screw me, because I know too much about this game. Anyway, I suppose this can be a useful demonstration for how powerful Rage is in this game. Basically, Rage, if you don't know, uh, doubles in power every time uh, your opponent attacks you. Um, and the majority of the AI in this game just attacks, attacks, attacks for the majority of the game. So, it can become very powerful very fast, as you probably saw in that fight where I actually caught Dunsparce. Unfortunately, these Caterpies just seem intent on slowing me down instead of actually, uh... Okay, there we go. You see, sparse face feeling is stronger, so now it's gonna be doubling in power, so it should be actually Okoing everything. Unfortunately, these don't give us too many... too many? Too, too much experience. Would have been nice to gain some levels off of this thing. Weedle might be annoying uh, if you can't kill it outright in one hit because it can poison you with poison thing. And then you have to go all the way back to the Pokemon Center. Which is a long ways from here, but oh well. Anyway, not too difficult of a fight. I don't know why the bug catchers are called rockets. There are six elves when grasping an elf. 5B, the computer, can automatically send a message to the box. In spite of how to say, you are strong. I find monster thur. <laughs> I find monster thur every day. I can collect many fruits in Keokun. If you want, some for you. Leave your tail number. This guy, I guess, will bring you berries? I will call you if found something. I am happy to think about finding something. Oh man. This kid must have absolutely no life. Anyway, find a huge ball. Uh, I believe that's the Pokeball. Yeah, because great balls are called sup balls. Grasping a fine elf in Dark Cave. I expect this elf to challenge Heya Duo, the Gwixang Gymnasium Curator. That would mean that the gym leader of Violet City is named Heya Duo. What the hell is going on out there? Man. Seems like whenever I record this, some crazy things happening outside. Anyway, um, I understand that uh, a place like uh, Bellsprout Tower is probably not too interesting to watch, especially someone just go through and probably destroy everything with a Dunsparce and a Cyndaquil. Um, so what I'm gonna be doing is I'm going to be speeding up the majority of parts, um, and I'll probably like, how do I say this? I probably will stop speeding it up to read what these people have to say because, I, from what I understand, it's pretty funny. The tower is built for pocket monsters to practice Buddhism. <laughs> Alright then. The man ascending first may gain secret stun. Right then. Anyway. Uh, yeah, like I said, I'm just gonna go ahead and start speeding this up, so speeding! Ho! We will not destroy the tower, even if we are crazy.
they protected the tower for Thanksgivings. <laughs> As a leaf, not as a leaf, but as a leaf, like the medicine or something. on the road of ultimate. Hey, I think that's where I live. Hey, we learned Ember! Hooray! Finally, at level 12, we learned Ember, so now all these uh, bell sprouts will be going down without a fight. The Merchine given by the Prisbiter. Is that an actual word? If that's an actual word, then uh, I'll have another thing to put in the description of this video. I don't know what a Merchine is, but I assume they're talking about a merchant. Um, but I will also look that up. Light in the Dark. Plot developments. The elder says, the man's strength is true. T didn't blether. This secret machine may be hand him, but be care of the monsters. This The man's method to fright is severe. The monster isn't a tool to fright. Well then. Err! <laughs> is that some kind of greeting in this game? Err! After the elder said, nobody answered. Certainly. To be kind of the monsters. I don't admit defeat. I take a fancy to the strong winner. Anything else is okay. Use the rope to go through the hole. <laughs> Alright then. Well then. Yeah, okay. So we have one more person to go for. How trust are you to have a trying? <laughs> How trust are you to have a trying? It's, yeah. Postman just saw me recording. What? I don't even know what's going on here. It kind of seems so rare. What the hell? I might be even bothered finding it. Anyway, like I said before, I was so rudely interrupted. I think the postman just heard me commentating over this, and that was a little awkward. Anyway, now that we have an escape rope, let's talk to the guy. Um, you may have noticed that I used Cyndaquil for the majority of that, even though uh, it didn't know Ember and um. It was a higher level than my Dawn Sparse. Well, that's because I wanted it to learn Ember, because getting it to learn Ember without um, grinding it in this place is pretty difficult. However, Dawn Sparse is still awesome against these guys, and I'll show you that right here. It's this tower to let the monsters and people, they really should have spaced that, are full of fancy for bright futures to affirm the practicing 
place and the last stealing. We need to see it is who between me and the man that isn't snapped with Tosh. Again, I will have to look that up. So many words that I'll have to look up on this. With the monsters. Oh, oh, oh okay. Those are some pretty true fighting words for a real man. Anyway, uh, this is the elder guy. He doesn't have as much of an intro as he does in Heart Gold and Soul Silver, but he still does have a bunch of uh, bell sprouts. Of course, if you haven't gotten used to bell sprouts uh, in this place, then well, then what's wrong with you? I guess. Still, uh, rage is pretty good against him. Uh, as long as he hits you, that is. There we go. Yeah, it's pretty nice because Rage also has like 20 power points, so I can go through the majority of this place and good stuff will happen. And thanks for hitting me two times, dude. Now my Rage is like... I don't know how powerful it is, I don't know how that's calculated, but I know that my Rage is really powerful now. And I'm level 9. Oh man, Dunsparce is too powerful. Anyway, he has another Bellsprout. I believe it's the same level. Yeah, it's the same level as his other one, so if he didn't have any trouble taking that one out, then you shouldn't have any trouble taking this one out. If you start out with the Totodile, this place might be kind of annoying. So, uh, yeah. And of course, if you start with Chikorita, the whole game is going to be annoying. But oh well. Anyway, of course, his last Pokemon is a uh, Hoot Hoot. It does no growl, which is kind of unfortunate, but uh, I still think that Rage should be doing a decent amount. Nah, eh, around half. That's pretty good. Especially when you power up my Rage. Thanks for that. And uh, yeah, that's how Dunsparce takes out the Elder. Pretty cool. And uh, with that, Dunsparce goes to level 10. It's pretty cool. N! Good. <laughs> okay. If it's the man, maybe use the secret stunt. Please take the flashing seeker machine. And with that, we get flash! flash. Ah. Yeah, uh, we get that move. And uh, we put it in our thing. And now we are done with this place. I'm not even gonna bother to read this, dude. Like, you can pause it if you really want to read whatever the hell that guy is saying, but I really don't feel like it right now. Um, anyway, you may have noticed that, um, Escape Rope is called nothing. It, it doesn't have a name. That's, uh, that's, how do I say this? That's the same for, like, ten items in this game. There's um, around ten items in this game that don't have a name, which is why that list that I mentioned beforehand is pretty convenient. Anyway, uh, now that we're done with that, I think I'm gonna leave the episode off. Well, actually, nah. I'm. Like, if I left the episode off here, then all we would have done was beat some dude in Bell Sprout Tower. So, uh, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go after the uh, gymnasium curator, Hey A Duo. And of course, he's right here. If you're playing Gold, Silver, and Crystal, then uh, going through Bell Sprout Tower first isn't required. But, uh, I wanted to anyway, just because. We had some decent experience, and also I wanted to make that uh, queen pun, but anyway. <clears throat> Let me make sure whether to challenge Mr. Heat. Uh, I think that's an abbreviation for Hey A Duo, um, although I don't know where the T in his name is supposed to be. Maybe it's silent. Anyway, uh, this Spiro has been the cause of much grief for many speedrunners. Um, <clears throat> Of course, this isn't a speed run. This is just a casual playthrough, so it's all good right here. Unfortunately, he's faster, so I won't be able to get the first turn rage power up, but uh, that's fine. Wow, it's done for us. So powerful. Yeah, that wasn't too difficult. And a uh, useless critical on the last turn, because why not? Really? Yeah, really. Really. Oh, what do you have to say? 
It's not excused to be defeated by the people, becoming a coach just. That is completely backwards, holy shit. Also, uh, what do you have to say, Clyde? Hello, though I am not a coach, I can coach. It's pretty contradictory. Please trust me, then I trust him. It's not a dream to be a champion, yes. Expect to hear this, okay. Monster and monster are not harmonious. They really should have spaced that. Be care. Thank you for those words of wisdom, Clyde. Or whatever the hell you're called in this game. The hint is sturdy. The people here trained all day and all nift for the strongest elf. All nift. That's pretty cool. Yeah, these people are called why. Dare I ask why? No, that would be too difficult of a fun. Anyway, pretty simple, just rage all day. I'm pretty sure all these people now are like tackle and like wing attack or something, or no, tackle and gust maybe. I don't think they know uh, sand attack yet, so hooray for that I suppose. But anyway, they're Pidgeys, so they're not too difficult to take out. And, uh, yeah, especially with some powered up rages. Like, I'm telling you, rage is amazing early on in Gold Silver Crystal. It's, it's pretty great. Like, yeah, right now my rage is probably like 120 power or something. Combined with stab, it's ridiculous. Ka! Yes, ka! Anyway, uh, I'm gonna go heal off screen really quick, so I'll be right back. And we are back once again, uh, to fight Hey Duo. So all of our elves are completely healed, so let's just talk to Hey Duo. I am the header of Quixang Gymnasium called Hey Duo. People will electric shock the flying monsters. Ignoring these bird monsters, I think them not excused. They were fluttering in the sky, making the sky magnificent. I let the worldly people understand their grandness. This is some fighting words. Anyway, uh, first gym leader, Hey Duo. Um, of course, I completely forgot to mention that we're in Violet City, or as it's called in this game, Guixang Gymnasium or Guixang City. <clears throat> so he has a Pidgey and a Pidgeotto. Pretty simple fight since he normally just likes to spam tackle in this fight. So you can build up your rage if you're using a dunce boss like I. In fact, if he actually goes for rage or er, for prize right here, yeah, okay, so I think I might be able to like freaking Oko his Pidgeotto or something. Which would be pretty cool. It would be pretty cool. I think I'm overestimating how long this is gonna be because of like the fact that I'm planning on speeding up the entirety not the entirety, but the majority of the entirety of Bellsprat Tower Dam. Anyway, uh Pidgeotto, it would be a threat if this was Heart Gold Soul Silver and it knew Roost and was level thirteen. But because it's neither of those, and its best move is Mud Slap, not too difficult. I, I just want to see how much Rage will do, because... Good god, Dunsparce. Good god. Anyway, yeah. G -g 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 -g. Hey, a duo. Your bird stood no chance to the funds for us. And uh, you get a ton of experience for beating that Pidgeotto. Oh, I forgot to read that. Something, something, become. I see. Take this, the successor of Elf. Wubujuki. And the Wubukuji. What is Wubukuji? I don't know what that is. Wing badge from Heiaduo. Yes. We now have the wing badge. And uh, our first gym leader is down. Only eight more to go. Or right, seven more to go. Attack force becomes stronger, the monster who has learned the flashing stunt may flash without fighting. And take it. And we receive the skill. Now all TMs in this game are called skill, uh, with only one L. These are all the TMs. Um, this one is um, Mudslap, yes. 
teach the monsters to learn the stunts in the moment off. You use them considerately, and their inside is made of mud. <laughs> so you do your best to evade the opposite. Functional to attack and defend. Couldn't have said that better myself. So, um, I'm just gonna leave it off right here. Uh, because I think we got a decent amount done in this part. So, thank you all very much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do, but yeah. Anyway, see you guys next time. Bye.